look who's here. Look who's here. <laughs> the Germans. Uh, you're right, man. Jens Koznik, world champion. Will Pairs <laughs> champion as well. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> if Torsten's watching, he's got a new partner. He's got a new partner for the world pairs. All right, you've lost him, mate. Sorry, pal. Yeah. Jens is on peg eight. Yes, eight. Eight. Uh, we're over in the woods. Glenn Lawrence is on peg one. I'll have a walk down and tell you who's on the rest, but. Robin Hood is in the wood. Robin Hood is in the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's just 10 minutes before the off, I'm on peg 7, I've got Jens on my right on peg 8, he's not going to fish a pole today, he's just going to fish a feeder. On my left is Andy Renton, match organiser, I think he's put a pole up as well, so I'm going to keep my eye on that. Very simple bait trip, ground bait, common special G that you've seen, got some dead reds, some chop worm, got some red maggots, and that's basically it, really really simple, 3 rod approach, I've got, I've got a... Um, 3.6 meter, that's a 12 foot S class. Nice little helicopter rig, I'm gonna fish that at 50 meters. Then got the 3.3 meter, which is 11 foot S class. And that's with braid, I'm gonna fish that at 30 meters. And then my two main lines. I've also got set up 3.3 meter Legend Slim, and that's already clipped up at 15 meters. That's if fish appear on that shore line, on that pole line, which can happen on these pegs. Andy's got the pole up next to me, so I'm not even gonna feed that and not even consider feeding it until at least the last two hours. So as you can see, there's no wind or anything. You know, they forecast thunderstorms and things later on today, so anything can happen, so... so. Conditions have changed a little bit. <laughs> Dad's got a friend. Here's a wave, Dave. <laughs> Terrible at the minute. About two hours left. Um, shocking. I've got four fish, four little hybrids. For about, only just over a pound. It's been horrendous. I've come off a bream, which is going to cost me some points, I think. But there's nothing I can do. I, I haven't done anything silly. I, I'm just not getting any bites. I've had four fish, four bites, just over a pound. Next peg, Jens. He's got at least three net fish on a short line. The kid next to him's got at least one net fish. And then the kid on the MPEG on 10, he's been catching loads of small fish on the pole, which is not an avenue I, I can go down. I'm not going to go down. Next peg, Andy Renton. He's got one bream and a couple of small fish that he's had on the pole. Next one down is Mark. Mark's just had his second bream. I think he'll foul up, so I've got to say that. So he's got two bream, so I'm way behind. We've heard they're not catching much further down in those early pegs as our section as well, but I need at least one more bream just to get me halfway in the section, I think. Certainly three or four to, to get up there, so just gonna stick at it. As you see, the weather's gone, it's really deteriorated now, thunderstorms. So I'm just gonna stick at it. 30 meters seems to be the line. But I'll keep dropping on that 50 meter line. 
to see if we can nick a fish. We travelled 40 odd miles. There they go, let's give us a wave. Look at that. 40 odd miles they've come just to come and say hello. <laughs> My dad needs to bring more flasks with them, I think. <laughs> Right, well that was terrible. I think I might be looking at less than four pounds to be honest. They caught down to my left and to my right as well, so just see what they've caught. Lovely busy days fishing. If you think God's shining down on you, how about this? During that storm, what you saw, look at this. Neil has fished there. That landed next to him. That's what that storm was like. He's claiming it landed, it hit his shoulder on the way down and then went in, but there you go. It could be his festival. <laughs> I hate doing these vlogs the day after a disaster. Oh, as you've just seen, it weighed absolutely unbelievable. I've been one person in the section. I can't believe it even now. The reason I didn't do this vlog on the way home last night was A, because Dad was with me, uh, and B, I needed to shake it off as quick as possible. That's the worst result I've had in a long, long time. Still don't quite know what went wrong. Um, I mean the only key angler there, well I've seen different things in the whole section, every peg really, so you know I can't really put it down to one thing. The key detail for me was those pegs there, it was a hard few pegs through from you know um, probably four, five, six, seven, eight. They were hard and a lot of people expected them to be hard, the lads that know the venue well. But the key for me is that I've caught eight fish and only weighed three pound odd eight fish there fishing the way that I've fished with worm and, and that and that mix that I've used on the lines that I've fished the weight should be quite a lot more than that it should be at least you know 9, 10, 11, 12 pound um, so my biggest concern was the size of fish I don't know why that is when it's happened before on there it's been because the mix has been wrong and you know I'm not alone in that in that opinion so but anyway, I, I just had to check it off, and that's why I'm doing this now. Um, I've caught at 13, sorry, I've fished 30 and 50 metres. The 50 metre line's been a waste of time. I've caught all my fish at 30 metres. I've just not had any pattern of, at all, all day, um, until the last 30 minutes. With 30 minutes to go, I've got on my 30 metre line again, like I've done for numerous occasions throughout the match. And after about six or seven minutes, I've got a fish. Then I've got in again, I've got another fish. I've got in again and I've hooked a big fish, uh, a big bream and after about, I don't know, about eight turns it's come off. I pulled out, it fell far up straight away as soon as I hooked it but obviously I was hoping I could land it but I've come off that. So I've come off a bream there and about halfway in the match, halfway through the match I put a bigger bait on and it's only been in a couple of minutes, I've put a large dendra on and it's gone around and I've, I've hooked a bream and I've got about four turns on it and that's come off as well and when I've reeled in the worm's gone over the point of the hook so a little bit unlucky I think with that I mean I was fishing a 14 at the time as well so I've got a decent hook on for a bait like that so maybe a little bit unlucky but I really felt off the pace the key angle there on my right was, was Jens he's done brilliant to catch about 11 pound I think he had He's just really gone down one hole all day. He's fished the line at about 15 metres, but he's not caught there, but he's caught his fish at 35 metres. He's just gone down one hole, long cast, maybe 10 to 15 minutes between each cast. Just steady away. I don't like fishing like that. I can fish like that. 
and on certain venues I will fish like that. I couldn't do it yesterday. I, I just I, I felt the peg was worth more, and I'm a little bit baffled by it to be honest. Yeah, I got it wrong, but I didn't get it that wrong. So yeah, really, just gotta shake it off. Just gotta shake it off. Two more days of fishing left, so that's put me on nine points, which is terrible, horrendous. I beat one person in the section, and ironically, the one person who's beat me, he's only had one fish, and it was nearly two pounds. So again, that goes back to my point about you know my eight fish only weighing three pound. Something I think's been wrong there, but you know maybe it's something that way I fed. I don't know. So. So that's it, I've got to check it off now. Two more days fishing now. That's put me out of the contention to win the festival. And, you know, I've really got two open matches to look forward to now. Um, I think even, even if I win the section for the next two days on 11 points, I'm not going to scrape in the, the, in the overall nine placings that, that are going to be paid out. So I'm just going to fish two open matches going into the second and third day now. So I'm just going to check it off and, um, yeah, just go for it in the next two days.